Hello kids, Steve coming back at you with another rendition of Money 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 Monday! Today, and probably next week also, as you can tell, this thing is full. A buddy of mine, the one that let me show his dad's old 1952 Topps baseball cards a while back, has now decided he would like me to showcase his grandfather's money who was in the military in World War II from around the world. So we're going to start with the U.S. currency today and maybe get into a handful or two of what is in the box. The first thing to me is probably one of the coolest things I've never seen one. It is a 50 cent note. Let's see if I can get some light on this. And I sleeved this up for him. And as you can tell, military payment certificate, 50 cents. It can be used only by military personnel, only in on-base stores, which means like the commissary and all of that. But yeah, that's a World War II military 50 cent note. That is awesome. Yeah, it says on the bottom, only in the United States military establishment so that's really pretty cool I've never seen one and I like that how about a 1928 G series two dollar bill red stamp and that's not in bad shape at all I really really like that that is cool and then his other US coins I also Decided I was going to do them a solid and um, get them all nice and cased up for him. Here is 1946D wheat scent. Again, a little hard to see. I wonder if that's causing glare. Yeah, it was a little bit. There you go. You can see that better. That is a very nice example of the wheat scent then we have a couple of half dollars here the first one it is a 1943 so height of the war that half dollar that's really nice looking as well got the eagle prominently on the back of it and then we go to 1961 it's a ben franklin silver half dollar Again, not bad shape. Just because all the pictures are still there, they're not rubbing off or anything. Then we have a bunch. Well, when I say bunch, I mean we have four actual silver dollars. And we'll take them newest to oldest. The newest three are all 1921. Again, look at that. Just simply beautiful. 1921 silver dollars. These are 100 years old this year. I mean, that's incredible when you think about it. There's number three of the 1921s. I mean, that's all really, really cool. Now, the last one, however, is an 1883, which <laughs> is even more incredible. Look at that, though. That thing is in really good shape. Look at how that just pops and everything is there. These just in silver content go for about 20 bucks each, as, tw as silver is $25 an ounce which means the halves go for about $10 or $11 a piece. So pretty good collection from Alex Edens, good friend of mine, and his grandfather. Let's see if we have anything in here. I, I do like oddball money, like money with holes, money that is definitely not round. Let's see if I can even read some of these. The non-round one says King George the Sixth. And it is from, oh, Ceylon, 10 cents, 1951. 
So that's pretty cool. And that really is cool. What is this one with a hole in it? Well, it's pretty writing. If you're Japanese or Chinese, so I'm not sure. Let's see if we can focus in maybe and let you decide. There's some of the writing on the front and definite on the back right there. That's really cool. I do like this type of money. I think this is one that caught me yesterday. Is this from Canada? Queen Elizabeth II, so I'm going to doubt it. Caribbean, the British Caribbean territories. Look at the size of that two cent piece. And after I show it, I'm going to show you what I mean by the size. That's a Caribbean two cent piece next to a U.S. penny. And just, just big. Really, really huge. There was one in here that... Okay, here's a 1965 one penny. It doesn't say where it's from. It's original, Regina F.B. Elizabeth. From... Yes, it doesn't say. But, give you a shot of it here. Look at that. Really, really cool. On that two cent piece, that was from, well, it doesn't have a year. Yep, 1955. Find a few more in here of interest. That's one penny, 1936, one penny. George the Fifth looks like maybe G R A B R I T T might be Great Britain. I will let you guys decide. But I love foreign currency. I love American currency, just because of all the pictures and history that they have. That's pretty pretty cool. But again, a huge one penny piece. Anything else trip my trigger this week? Let's take a quick look-see, and then I'll stop boring you kids and let you get back. Wow, 1919. It's the same penny. This one, obviously, is 102 years old, so it's rubbing down, rubbing off a little bit, as you can tell. 1919. That's awesome. And the history... You never know the pockets these things may have been in, what they were used to buy. Here's one. Wow, you can barely read it, but it definitely one penny, definitely 1900. And on the back, well, it looks like it's the same currency, same country, same um, G R A B R I T T, but much different pictures. 1900. Look at that. These these are really, really awesome. Find one with oh, that. That's a fun one right here. I have a few of these. Very tiny. That's what I thought. It's a New York City subway token. Really small. No year on it. But it's even got the cutout Y in the middle for the transit system. Those are just really cool. I like all things currency related. Not just coins, um, but the transit tokens, the um, tax tokens, the ones they used in coal mines were fun. This is a fun one. I don't have one of these. George V, King Emperor. This is from India. Okay. Well, it's a very pretty language. It's from 1920, and it's square. It 
and it's worth two of whatever their currency is. I don't know if it's chickens or cowtails, but it's worth two of something. And the final piece. Oh, that's tiny, tiny. Good Lord. How do they even carry stuff like this? Um, Juliana Koningen der Nederlanden. So it's from the Netherlands. 1950. Ten cent. Doesn't even say cents. It's a cent. Look how freaking tiny that is. Ten cent. Oop. There's her picture. And yeah, it's so small, my thumbnail is bigger. <laughs> so I'm hoping you guys had a good time watching this. There will be more in the time to come. But for now, I will say goodbye for, for now, you know. I will have a mail date some point this week. I got a few pieces of mail, but because this is not mine, it's on borrowed time. Holy cow, and I rhyme. I will be shown more money, because obviously this is something that interests me, and it's good for a way back Wednesday, too. We shall do all of that. But like I said, for right now, I will let you guys go. I will put a lid on it. As long as you are excellent to each other, as long as you do you, and above all else, peace.